Hey everybody, I'm going to try to create a short, I don't know exactly how long it's going to be, probably like 5 or 10 minutes long, but anyways, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up Cloudflare so that you can create a tunnel uh, for your local IP address or even if you're renting a off-site server, for instance, if you're trying to access Ampt, uh, Amp by Cube Coders um, remotely, anyways. Uh, first things first, once you create a Cloudflare account, go to Domain Registration and Register Domains if you don't already have one. Um, go here, search for something like, uh, I don't know, ampgaming.win or .com or whatever you'd prefer. Uh, like that one's available, ampgaming.win. Uh, and that's about $4 a year. If you want, you can buy like 10 years, whatever you want to do. Uh, whatever name you want. Anyways, uh, after you've done got that set up and purchased, then you want to create a zero trust. So you want to go to zero trust tunnel, and then you want to go to networks. I'm going to move this over just because there's some sensitive information, uh, tunnels, and we're going to create a tunnel. Uh, this way you want to go to Cloudflare, recommended one, not uh, the warp select Cloudflare, name it whatever you want. I'm going to do testing tunnel as uh, I'm going to wind up deleting this anyway. So save. <coughs> Once you do this, you can install this on any platform, just about Windows, Mac, Debian, Red Hat, Docker. Um, for this purpose, I'm going to show you how to do it on uh, Proxmox for Debian. So we're going to go here. Uh, we're going to wind up copying this in a minute, uh, this one over here on the left, but not just yet. First off, you want to go to the helper script and search for Cloudflare LXC. Uh, and then we're going to copy this one right here. Then you're going to go into your Proxmox. You're going to go to PVE or whatever you have it called. Then you're going to go to shell. Um, I'm going to move this down a little bit. Uh, from here, you want to go into the shell, right click, and plain text. If you don't do plain text, and if you try to hit Control V, it'll do like a weird question mark. So Control V, and then you try to paste it, and then it has that extra up thing, and then it, it just won't work. It'll mess up. So you got to right click. Unfortunately, you can't use the keyboard. Uh, right click, plain text, hit Enter, and then this will pop up. We are going to go ahead and just hit yes, and we're going to do default. We're not going to do any other uh, default settings. This way, it's going to be Debian base. It's going to be version 12. Unprivileged is fine. We're just using minimal. It doesn't need that many resources anyways, so it needs extremely minimal resources to be able to run this. Uh, I'm going to pause it while this loads. Once you get to this part, just hit no for the HTTPS. Hit enter, it's going to customize, it's going to be clean, and then it's going to finish the install. Now you know you're done. Over here, where it was installed, so this cloud flared. We're going to click into it, and it says automatic root login. Uh, you don't need to know this IP address, the local IP address at all. Um, all you have to do is we're going to go back to cloud flared website. And then we're going to copy this big code, not the small one over there, just the bigger one under Debian. Copy. We're going to go back to Proxmox under this one, under the Cloudflare one. Right click, paste this plain text, then hit enter. That should be done. It's installed successfully. And then we're going to go back to Cloudflare. And then we're going to go over here. Let's see. We're going to go to tunnels again. And then uh, under this one, all the way on the right side, I'm going to pause it for a second and then move it over just because of sensitive information. Let's see. As you can see on the right hand side, it says healthy. So that means it's up and running. Next. You want to go ahead and you want to go to access and then applications here. 
you want to add application. You want to select self-host. And then you want to call this whatever you want. Uh, we're just going to call it uh, testing as well. Lockdown. Um, the next one, set, set your duration. You can set it for 24 hours, um, whatever duration you want. Uh, we're going to do, we're just going to do one month. Um, for your subdomain, you want to do asterisk or the star. Um, that's going to be a wild card. Then you want to use one of your, one of your websites. We're going to use jjgaming.win. Um, after you've done that, just keep everything else default. Go to next. Policy name, same thing. Testing. Lockdown. <clears throat> and you want to include this, like emails, uh, IP ranges. You can choose the country as well. You want to make sure that it's only in the U.S. or whatever, um, or in the U.K. or wherever you're living. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do email. I'm going to use uh, just a junk mail. And then I'm going to hit enter. You can add as many emails as you want. Um, this is going to allow for like 2A authentication. Next, you want to go ahead and hit next. All this can be default. Go ahead and hit add application. Refresh, this is now here. Next, we're going to go back to the tunnel networks. Tunnel uh, under testing. You want to, uh, on the upper, upper right hand corner, you want to hit edit. This way, you're going to go back to this one. It's going to be like, okay, you want to install, go to public host name. You don't have any right now. This this is where you want to put in the, uh, for instance, AMPT. I have a couple of AMP servers, but uh, just for testing purposes, so I'm going to go ahead and add one of them. Add. Uh, we're going to do AMP, and then we're going to do uh, subdomain the jjgaming.win uh, HTTP, and then it's going to be ten dot ten dot ten dot eight I believe I have one of them and then colon then eighty eighty we're gonna go ahead and hit save host name and then if you click on this and go over here on the right you can go to the actual website now should pop up so now this is where you put in that email address that you put in you get that email, two-step authentication, put in that number, and then voila, you got your login from that. And that's it. Pretty easy.